हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू आई होप यू आर फाइन दिस इज भाविका योर केमिस्ट्री मेंटर वेलकमिंग यू टू द अमेजिंग प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ पी डब्ल्यू इंग्लिश तो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट सम कॉमन एसिड बेसिस एंड सॉल्ट व्हाट दे आर व्हाई दे आर कॉल्ड एसिड व्हाई दे आर कॉल्ड बेस व्हाट आर दे व्हाट आर दे यूज फॉर व्हाट आर देर प्रॉपर्टीज so that is some basic things we are going to learn about acid bases and salts so are you guys ready so let us get started so first are acid what is acid an acid is a molecule or ion capable of either donating a proton okay what it does it donates proton okay h plus donors okay if you talk about hcl then what it does it just give away its h plus that is proton h plus is proton and it is a very good acid for uh, so the basic thing is how easily how easily a proton is donated in that manner you can say how strong an acid is if it is donating h plus very easily okay if it is donating proton easily then it is a strong acid and if it is not donating easily if it is uh, losing partially then it is a weak acid okay uh, this concept was given by a scientist who is bronsted and lowry okay this was a concept given by lowry bronsted yes or forming a covalent bond with an electron pair known as lewis acid okay one who can you know accept electron pair that is also acid according to who lewis okay so there were two theories one was given by lowry bronsted and one was given with given from lewis okay <coughs> a chemical that give off hydrogen ions in water and form salts by combining with certain metal okay i told you they give off hydrogen ions in water of course it need an aqueous medium it need an atom where it can give away its h plus okay it requires mobility if you talk about dry hcl gas then it does not contain any acidic behavior because it does not have mobility it requires a medium right it requires an aqueous medium where it can lose it h plus ions okay yes acids have a sour taste yes they are sour in taste but you do not have to taste every acid okay that is not a proper test okay testing is not a proper test it is not a proper test getting my point or not okay that can be maybe your last test of your life okay because some acids are very concentrated they are very strong okay it can harm you it can harm you a lot so you have to be very careful okay, while dealing with acids again there are many organic acids that we use in our day to day life like the acid is, which is present in lemon citric citric acid that is very mild okay that is not uh, harmful but it is beneficial for us it has vitamin c ascorbic acid right so there are some acids which are harmful for us and there are some acids which are very beneficial for us okay so tom tomato uh, then tamarind all they have acids but they does not harm your body some acids made by the body such as gastric acid okay gastric acid can help organs work the way they should okay there's also acid present in our stomach which help in digesting food right hcl is present in our body okay which uh, helps in just digesting breaking down the food and making it bacteria free so this way acids can also be our friends not only foe right so uh, this is the litmus test uh it is being uh, produced okay in one beaker i have taken acid and in one beaker i have taken base okay there is a litmus paper it is available easily in the medical shop there is a litmus paper it is called the indicator okay 
इंडिकेटर यू मे आस्क मी वॉट इज इंडिकेटर इंडिकेटर इज दैट सब्सटेंस ओके विच इंडिकेट दैट इट इज एन एसिड और बेस ओके इट इट टेल्स अस इट डिनोट्स अस बाय कलर चेंज और स्मेल चेंज इफ यू टॉक अबाउट ओल फैक्टर इंडिकेटर्स ओके ओल फैक्टर इंडिकेटर्स देन दैट इंडिकेटर्स जस्ट वर्क ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ स्मेल एंड दे टेल एस दैट इट इज एसिड और बेस ओके लाइट ना वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट लिटमस पेपर सी If you dip a blue litmus paper into acid, it will turn pink. Okay. If that uh, blue litmus paper is turning pink, then it is confirmed that this solution is acid. Okay. So what is the uh, how you can determine when blue litmus turns red? Then that particular solution is always. It is always what? It is always acid. Okay, yes or no? When you talk about base, okay, if you just put a uh, red litmus paper, okay, if you put just red litmus paper into a solution, and if it is turning blue, okay, if it is turning blue, then that particular solution is base. Okay, so that's how you can. just tell uh, with the help of litmus paper if the litmus paper is turning blue to red okay blue to red it is acid and if it is red to blue then it is base okay now we'll talk about base okay this is not that base uh, that is used in sounds okay this base is chemistry wala base right an ionic compound that dissolve in water and cause hydroxide ions okay if i talk about base naoh is very strong base and if it is dissolved in water you get na plus and oh minus so this is your hydroxide ions and the one which give hydroxide ions are called bases The term ionic compound refer to a compound containing both a negative non-metal and a positive metal linked by an ionic. So basically, this is an ionic bond. Okay. Bases are a good conductor of electricity. Acids are also a good conductor of electricity. Yes, they because ions one which contains ions. If any solution has ions in it. <coughs> if there are ions in it if there is mobility of ions then that particular solution will always conduct electricity right bases tend to change the color of litmus indicator we have already seen that bases tend to lose their basicity when they are added to acid see acid and base they are like enemy of each other okay they are like a uh, enemies of each other so when acid is added to base acids loses its acidity and base loses its basicity and they form salt okay we are going to talk about salt also but for now it is you have to say that if ba base is added to acid it loses its basicity and acid also loses its acidity right some bases are used as electrolytes such as sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide okay what are electrolytes a uh, solutions which uh, let electricity pass through them okay those solutions which let electricity to pass through them those type of solutions are known as electrolytes okay so naoh koh okay koh is also used potassium hydroxide okay it is also used as what it is also used as electrolytes okay clear till here the ph value of bases range from 8 to 40 okay there is a ph scale okay let me tell you okay there is a ph scale like this Okay, and uh, 
you have certain compartments in it and it is between here between here it is 7 this is 0 and this is 40 so this is 1 2 3 4 5 2 3 4 5 6 yes okay this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay from here it is 8 9 10 11 12 and 30 okay so this is a ph scale okay a ph scale we are not going into much detail over here because we have already studied about it in a basic video so if you are in your ph meter if the value is coming between 0 to 6 then it is acid right uh, this is 7 if it is lesser than 7 if it is lesser than 7 then it is acid okay if it is more than 7 till 14 then it is base okay that is 8 to 14 and if it is exactly 7 then it is neutral okay so this is the case 0 to less than 7 is acid it more than 7 to 14 is base and exactly 7 is your neutral okay clear till here yes so this is your thing you may check once fine so this is your ph scale also available in market okay it is an universal indicator <coughs> so these are some household acids and bases uh, vinegar has uh, acetic acid, lemon juice has citric acid, battery acids have H2SO4, sulfuric acid, sodas, right? Soda has normally base in it. Baking soda, ammonia, soap, borax has bases in it. So, these are the uh, substance used in day-to-day -day life, which may we may not know that it contains acid and base, but yes, they does. Okay. Okay. Now, we will talk about salt. Yes, it is present in large quantities in sea water. It is the main mineral constituent. Yes, salt is essential for animal life. And salt in it is one of the basic human tastes. Salt is an ionic compound. Yes, that has cation other than H plus and anion other than OH minus. It has also cation and anion but other than H plus and OH minus. Right? Okay. Uh, okay, so this is a neutralization reaction. What is neutralization reaction? This. When acid and base, okay, when acid and base reacts with each other, it gives you a salt and water. Salt is a neutral substance which is formed from acid and base. Okay, that you can write for the definition of salt. Okay, so when acid and base reacts, it gives you salt and water. Okay. Yes, this NaCl is also salt, but not the only salt. Okay, there can be maybe other salts. For example, let me write another example. Uh, for example, I am writing H2SO4 as acid. And base I am taking mm, NaOH. Okay. So, what I will get? Na2SO4 plus h2 okay so here this is a salt okay this is your acid this is your base and what you get is salt and water so nacl is not the only salt yes it is a very important salt but not the only salt right clear till here we have many salts sodium chloride is one of the best known salt 
वन सॉल्ट इज नोन टू ऑलमोस्ट एवरी वन बिकॉज इट इज वाइड स्प्रेड एंड यूज इन एवरी डे लाइफ यूर यूर जस्ट की यू यूजिंग इट एवरी डे लाइफ फूड विदाउट सॉल्ट है ना वी कैनॉट ईट द फूड विच इज विदाउट सॉल्ट ओके सो दैट्स हाउ दिस आर द एसिड ओके दिस इज बेस ओके वेन दे आर रिएक्ट विथ ईच अदर वॉट यू गेट इज एन ए सी एल ओके वॉट इज डन सी एल फ्रॉम हियर इट इज टेकन सी एल इज टेकन फ्रॉम हियर एंड एन एज टेकन फ्रॉम हियर एंड दे आर फ्रॉम एन ए सी एल सो दैट्स हाउ द सॉल्ट आर मेड ओके क्लियर टेल हियर ओके सो दैट वॉज ऑल अबाउट एसिड बेज एंड सॉल्ट ओके I gave you a very general idea that the one which contains H plus ions, which donate H plus ions, are acid. Okay, one which accept electron pair are acids. One which donate OH minus ions. Okay, they are base. One which donate electron pair, they are base. Okay, so this uh, one which accepts H plus, they are also base. So these are some very basic. okay these are some very basic ideas of acid and base and when you mix them you get a neutral salt okay again it is not necessary for a salt to be neutral salt can be acidic also it can be basic also but yes here we'll talk about here we have talked about mostly neutral salt a neutral salt is made from a strong acid and strong base okay so that was all about acid base and salt i hope you have understood the lecture you have understood everything and just keep smiling keep revising and see you in the next class thank you